So Cam, welcome to the Surrey Scorchers. How are you feeling to be here? I'm really excited to be here, you know, it's been something that, you know, I've wanted to be doing last year, but obviously with COVID and stuff, it was kind of difficult to do things with school, um, so travelling was one of the main issues. However, you know, being here is going to be really exciting for me to progress myself and improve being with Connor and Tony, you know, they're going to be good mentors for me on and off the court. I think being in the BBL is also going to be a big help for me for my, you know, future going to Wake as well, and I think competing here is going to be great for me. As you just touched on, of course, you're going to Wake Forest and ACC College. I mean, what are you hoping to achieve in your time in the BBL to help your development and progression for that? I think just competing with better players, you know, having obviously Cash and Tony being in Division 1 already, so they're at that standard. Competing with them every day is just what I need, you know, just so then when I get out there, I'm prepared and kind of used to what it's like to be over there. And of course, playing for Kriam Raftopoulos, who's very much renowned within the BBL, you must be really excited to be playing for him. Yeah, I am. He's a really nice guy, and I think he's going to help me a lot through this you know, next couple of months through this basketball. I'm going to learn new things, so I'm really excited to be here. So, of course, you're here, you're ready to go, and you must be really excited just to play BBL basketball. Yeah, I mean, it's something I've never done before. It's a step up from Division 1, so I'm not expecting you know, the same outcome with what it's been at the moment, but you know, I'm really excited and I'm ready for the challenge. Creon, it's obviously been confirmed that Cameron Hildreth now joins your team for the rest of the BBL season. How are you feeling to have a player of that calibre join your roster? Uh, naturally excited. Um, you know, his, his um, dad reached out to me and um, was talking about, you know, obviously trying to help Cam, especially in this situation where, you know, elite basketball for under 18s has been put on hold. And uh, we are more than happy to welcome him into the gym. And then um, once he got into the gym, start working with the guys. He liked the competition of going up against former Division One players and pros. And um, you know, we got talking, and uh, both um, Danny and um, Cam felt that this would be the best place for him to prepare for uh, Wake Forest. And of course, Cam is making the jump now from the NBL to the BBL. What kind of difference do you think that's going to bring? And how do you think he might have to adjust his game style to suit the new up-tempo style of the BBL? Um, to be honest with you, I think that he, because he's trained at GB level against the men, he kind of like has understanding of it. You know, I think that NBL is a tough league. I do believe that, you know, they've probably got like five really strong teams and then others that just struggle to get that consistency. So um, playing against men is always a positive, but he'll, he'll, he'll learn really quick because he's a competitor that, you know, in the BBL, there's no easy game. So that's no disrespect to the NBL. I think in the NBL, um, we know who the, the leading um, clubs are that are on the verge of trying to get to uh, get BBL status. So um, I think that he'll make that adjustment and he's proven it in practice going against the guys that we've got. And you've always talked about developing young British talent and that's something that you stand by and of course now you've got a contingency of him and Evan Walsh in your backcourt. You must be really happy to have that British core. Yeah, it's always good to have British players and I'm, um, you know, I'm, you know, um, you know, I, I took a look at like the GB lineup and I saw like, you know, the kids, some young players have got the opportunity from Iceland. I'd like to see more players from the BBL get that opportunity and I think that's what will happen in, 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 in years to come. But, um, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm just happy to have the talent come in and um, I'm just one of many coaches that would have played a part in um, these players' journeys to get to where they want to get to. So. Um, He's here for, for, for a couple of months and then obviously, you know, um, you can't forget all the hard work that his dad's done with him and all the other coaches. And of course, while you've got him for a couple of months, it is a big advantage to the Scorchers. What are you hoping he will bring to your, your, your games in the BBL Championship? I think the key part is just, you know, the appetite and hunger to play basketball and enjoy basketball. I think that our, our, our chemistry and our desire has changed in the, in the last couple of weeks, so we've been working on that and I think he just adds to that and will bring us pure energy and hustle.